It's going to close the picture, and right in front of you, the stone should reveal the Shroud Breaker. Yo, what is up, my fellow pirates? Um, and what is up today? Uh, today, we're going to do the Shroud Breaker 100%. Um, I'll be leaving a message at the beginning and the end. This does not include the notebooks, the journals. Um, so if you're wanting to figure out how to do the journals, where they are, just comment down below uh, if you want that video, and I'll do that for you guys. Um, I do not take all the credit from this. I did have to look this up myself. And... And to me, all the other videos were kind of like outdated. It seems like they were done before seasons were even a thing in Sea of Thieves. So today, I wanted to make a video, just an updated version on the Shroud Breaker. There, nothing has changed, so let's get into it. To start to tell a tale, you're just going to have to go to any tavern, any outposts. Go into the tavern, you're going to go into the Mysterious Stranger, and to the right of him should be a book, a journal. This is how you're going to start the first chapter of the long story of Sea of Thieves. All you're going to do is hold F on that and he'll do a little speech. One moment. You do well to heed my warning, for this is no ordinary voyage you're contemplating. Few pirates have even heard of the shores of gold, let alone see them with their own eyes. They say it's an island riddled with untold riches, ancient secrets, hidden tombs. Followed up by the mists of the Devil's Shroud. This book is the journal of the Pirate Lord himself. It tells of his first ship, the Magpie's Wing, and the journey he took to find the mythical Shroud Breaker. The only way to part the fog and reach the shores of gold. If you dare to follow in the footsteps of the greatest pirate who ever lived, then take the journal and use it to find the wreck of the Magpie's Wing. It holds clues to the Shroud Breaker's whereabouts. Bring it to me, and I'll set you on your way to the shores of gold. But don't be fooled. Only the bravest and strongest pirates will make it back alive. I wish you luck. You're going to need it. <laughs> so after that speech, wonderful speech from the mysterious stranger, uh, you can head on to your boat if you go to your quest. You can see that the quest is, the uh, journal is in your quest log, and you're just gonna turn all the way to the pages seven and eight, and it's gonna tell you that the island, the shipwreck, the magpies sank on. So it sank on an uncharted isle in between Crook's Hollow and Crooked Mass. So here, if you look right here, there's Crooked Mass right there. South of it is Crook's Hollow. You're going to go right in between here, where N and O are, and 13 and 14. You're going to go right there. That's where the island is, and uh, we'll set sail. Hopefully this Reaper doesn't attack us. Alright, we have officially made it. See the little island right there. Let's see, that's going to be Crook's Hollow. And then right there is going to be the other island. I'm going to raise sails a bit. And then the best way to, if you still can't find it, there's going to be a fortress. Yeah, There's going to be a fortress right over there to the left. And the Fort of the Dam is going to be to the right. This is relatively where you want to be. And raise your sails all the way, and you really forgot there's a seabed there. All right, as I was saying, you don't have to uh, anchor. All you gotta do is uh, raise your sails, because it's just underneath. And what you're gonna have to do is just jump in the water, look around, see if we can find it. I think it is. There it is. Alright. And then you're going to want to go to the back of the ship where the captain's quarter is. So the front of the ship is right over there. You'll see this. And then this is the back of the ship where the captain's quarters is. 
You're gonna go in, you'll see at the very chair, there's gonna be Magpie's Wings Ships Log. I'm just gonna pick that up, make sure you don't drown like I'm about to. And then just get back to your ship. Very simple, right? Now this is where things can get a little tricky. I've been lucky these past few times. But you're just going to go to the very end, right here on page 11. You're going to go keep turning, and you'll see these logs of the magpie's wing. You're going to go to your map. This is very easy if you just look at your map. So it says, anchoring on the south side of Thieves Haven. So we'll go to Thieves Haven. Where is it? There it is. Right here is Thieves Haven. They anchored on the south side. The burning blade. We are fleeing to the northeast. So they're fleeing to the northeast. So mutineers rock. Past small shallow shallow isles. That would be um, mutineers rock. And then they say amending course to north by northeast. So they're going northeast a little. Probably around crow, uh, Crow's Nest Fortress. Throwing the chest. Oh, nope. We're on the rounding fortified island that would be crow's nest right there now headed west by southwest so they're heading back down but they're heading more west because he said west by southwest so it's going to be around cutlass k eh, clay k and then he says throwing the chest overboard northeast of a shallow island so northeast of the shallow island that he just said is going to be cutlass k he said northeast, so it's going to be right around here. So all we need to do is go south past Crook's Hollow. Alright, we are approaching Cutlass K. And they said northeast of the island. So we're just going to anchor down. You don't have to anchor. I'll probably just pull my sails up. And turn before we get hit the shallow bar. Which we probably will. Oof. 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 Alright. Let's get rid of these guys real quick. Alright, says so we are here on Cutlass K. They said northeast of the island. This is the north side. East would be over here. So we're just going to jump in the water. You're going to go in the water, and you're looking for something shiny. Now it's going to be on different islands. It's not always going to be on Cutlass K. So all you're going to look for is where it says they dropped the ship is a shining chest. You're going to pick it up and bring it to your ship. Alright, so now that we have the chest in on our ship... I'm going to open up the chest, take the pages, and you're going to look at what totem you get. There are several different other totems. I think there's two others, I believe. I can't remember. I think there's three. Um, this one is the scarab one. I'm going to close the chest. You're going to go to your journal, and you're going to keep turning the pages. Now this is where it's going to tell you where the Shroud Breaker is. See the island on the on the left page? You're going to go to that island. In this case, it is Crook's Hollow. Alright, we have made it to Crook's Hollow. And to be honest, I believe the best spot to park at is right here. And I believe this is the south side of the island. Yep, south side of the island, this is probably one of the best places to park, because once you get the Shroud Breaker, you can just turn left. You don't even need to anchor, just raise your sails, let it drift, and here we go. So, when you get to Crook's Hollow, or whatever island, you're going to take your totem and find the caves. Um, usually these are going to be in caves. Um... I think one of them is kind of outside, but if you do gold hoarders and you do vaults, they're in the same place. I believe. 
On Crook's Hollow, for the Scarab one, you're going to take a right as you enter the cave. And this is going to be it. As you can see, there's going to be all the Scarabs right here. Alright, with your totem, there's going to be a little... What would I call it? A uh, place to put your totem. It's going to look like this. Every place is like this. And you're just going to place it right on there. To your left, the uh, vault should open up. You're going to go inside. And now, nothing should happen. You're going to see four blaziers. Braziers. A little pedestal. A little stone figurine, I guess you would say. But anyways, you're going to see these braziers. What you're going to do is you're going to raise your lantern and light each brazier. Now, before you light the uh, last brazier, I suggest you do watch, my, uh, watch the video before doing it. But the easiest way to do it is just look at the right side of the page. This shows what the code is to free yourself. Alright, as you light the last brazier, you should be locked and water will be filling up. There's going to be four different symbols. You need to turn the stones to uh, match the ones in the book. So the first one, it says the shroud baker. Looks like a shroud baker raising its hand. Same one. The next three are people holding swords up. Just like that. Like this one, and like that one. You're going to go to the beginning, you're going to uh, press the uh, pedestal, and it's going to ask for another code. This is going to be the second line down in the book. I call these the genie lamps. Genie lamp. Another genie lamp. Right there. And another genie lamp. And then a person holding the Shroud Breaker. Just like that. Now, as you can see, the water is filling up. But do not worry, you have plenty of time to do this. I'm going to enter the solution again. And it's going to ask for a third code. This one's very simple. This one is a person holding the Shroud Breaker. Just like that. And then this is the family. Just like that one. This one again. And then, last one is the same one as the others, the family. You're going to press the solution, and you should be freed. Now, the next step is going to be this. You're going to look on the uh, picture right here, and it's going to tell you a spot on the island you are on, and to dig it up. As you dig these spots up, skeletons are going to spawn. You're going to place the medallions in the vault. Uh, in their respective places. And it's going to show you another spot. If you want to, you can watch this part of the video. And I'll show you how to get all three without even going back and forth. So as you exit the tunnel, the vault, you're going to get your shovel out. You're going to take a left. This is going to be the first one we saw in the picture. You're just going to dig right in front of this stone. Don't worry about the skeletons. You're going to pick up the totem, run over here, drop it, go over here to the waterfall. In between these stones, you're going to pick up this second medallion. Just to ignore the skeletons, you're going to drop the medallion, you're going to run. You're going to keep running straight. You're going to go into the bay area. You're going to climb up these rocks right here. All the way up. You're kind of going to like... You're kind of go like... Ugh. You're kind of like going to go around the entire island. You're going to come up to a cave. You're just going to take a left where the cra dancing crab is. Take a right immediately. And just keep staying to the right. You're going to see a path. You're going to follow the dirt path. Just like this. And by the way, this is the 
fast this way. So just keep following the dirt path, dirt path, sand path. I'm sorry. And then you're gonna f come across this dude right here. You're gonna dig up. Hopefully that guy doesn't get me. And if you want, you can just drop down. You might die here. Yep, you can just drop down right here. And then you're going to come back into the tunnel where we just entered. Go back to your vault and you're going to place all the medallions in the place holders. And with the last one done, it's going to kind of go low up like this. It's going to close the picture and right in front of you, the stone should reveal the shroud breaker. Alright, you're going to take the shroud breaker. You're going to get a message on the bottom to take it to the mysterious stranger. You're going to run to your boat, ignore the skeletons. Trust me, you don't want to deal with them. As you get on your boat, you're just going to want to just take off. Make sure you put the shroud breaker where you know where it is. And then just sail off to the nearest outpost. My advice is if you're just continuing, just doing the tall tales once and continuing on with the story, my advice is to take it to the plunder outpost. That's going to be slightly southwest of Crook's Hollow. Now as we approach plunder outpost, the best way to do this is just kind of sail into the island. You don't have to. Just kind of sail next to it. And then you want to take your shroud breaker, put it in the chest. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's just my advice. Jump off with the chest. And then you're just going to take the chest to the gold hoarders. Just gets you like 400 gold. It's nothing, but it's still something. There you go. And then you're going to take the Shroud Breaker. To the Mysterious Stranger. Great Ramsey's ghost. I heard all the stories. But to actually hold the Shroud Breaker in my hands. I never thought I'd see the day. Something's wrong. There should be four jewels set in the base that grant the Shroud Breaker its power. But they've been removed. Without them, you will last five minutes in that fog. Now let me think. I did hear tell that Captain Briggsy made it to the shores of gold. If that's true, she might know the whereabouts of these missing stones. Not that she ever say. Sometimes, even the best pirates fall victim to their greed or hatred, and it changes them, strips the flesh from their bones, gives them power, but twists them up inside. Briggsy is one such abomination. People call them skeleton lords, and most pirates flee at their approach. Not even the Order of Souls dares challenge them, and rightly so, but you, you are going to have to hunt one down. I have eyes and ears across the Sea of Thieves. If you gather any of the missing pieces, I'll see they're restored to the Shroud Breaker on your behalf. For now, head to Plunder Outpost and speak with Madame Olivia about Briggsy's whereabouts. Remember, skeleton lords are not to be taken lightly. And just like that, the Shroud Breaker quest tale is done. And that'll be all nine accommodations. Complete the tall tale five different times. You get Pirate Lord's Hut. And you also get the Magpie Wings Cannons. Now, by turning in the Shroud Breaker over at Plunder Outpost, you can just turn right here into Madame Olivia's uh, Emissary. And just right to her left is going to be the next tall tale, the Cursed Rogue. 
look out for that episode. Um, that's I'm gonna be doing that one next, and we're gonna be doing all the Tall Tales, every single one of them. The Cursed Rogue, Legendary Storyteller, Stars Thief, Wild Rose, Art of the Trickster, Fate of the Morning Star, Revenge of the Morning Star, and Shores of Gold. We'll also be doing the Seabound Soul and the Heart of Fire. These two are my favorite. But folks, that is all I have today. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you guys want a description on where all the journals are, just let me know. Um, I'll do a video on exactly where the whereabouts of those journals are. However, the next episode on the Tall Tale Journey will be um, coming out soon, hopefully. Um, I don't know when, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, like or dislike, that is totally up to you, and make sure you guys sub to the channel. But for now, buh bye bye